Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about hair porosity. I know, I know. You're probably wondering, why the heck do I even need to know about hair porosity? Does, is this going to affect my hair care routine? Does it even make a difference? And the answer is yes. And if you do know what hair porosity is, but you just don't know where you fall on the hair porosity spectrum, whether you're high, you're low, today we're going to be getting into all of that. So in my experience, I basically ignored the whole hair porosity thing um, because it just sounded so confusing and I didn't really feel like figuring it, figuring it out. I knew that it was hard for my hair to retain moisture and I knew that my hair was prone to breakage. But other than that, I really didn't know what my hair porosity was. But little did I know, it's very, very important, if not essential, to building and creating a hair care routine and regimen that really works for your hair. So at this point, you're probably wondering what hair porosity is. And simply put, porosity affects how well oils and moisture can penetrate or escape the hair cuticle. So if you're a visual learner like me, I like to see things. So I'm going to post a picture of what your hair cuticle looks like. It's basically the outermost layer of our hair. So our hair is made out of three layers. The first one, which we'll be focusing on today and pretty much determines your hair porosity, is the cuticle. And then the second layer is the cortex. And then the, the deeper, the deepest innermost layer is called the medulla. But in order for products and moisture to get into those layers of the hair, it first has to get into the cuticle. So with that being said, there are pretty much three porosities. There's high, medium to normal, and low porosity. So if your hair is low porosity, it probably looks like this. Um, to me, hair the hair cuticle pretty much looks like shingles on a house. So if you have low porosity hair, your hair cuticle is pretty much sealed down to your hair shaft, like it's not raised whatsoever. The plus side to this is that your hair holds onto moisture really well, but the downside to it is that it's harder for moisture to get in. So, so like if you're trying to moisturize your hair, it's hard for that moisture to penetrate because the cuticle is so tight and it doesn't want to open up. Signs that you have high porosity hair is that when you get into the shower and you're trying to drench your hair in water, just so that you can start washing your hair. If you see the beads of water just sitting on top of your hair and not really getting into the hair, then that, that could be a sign that you have high porosity or if your hair takes a really long time to dry. Now, if you have high porosity like me, your hair shaft looks like this. As you can see, the cuticle is completely raised, which is good, kind of, because it's easier for moisture to get in our hair. It doesn't take a lot for our moisturizers to sink into our hair once we work it in. Um, but the downside is that because the cuticles are raised, moisture can escape just as easily as it came in. So we have to really focus on finding the right products that not only moisturize our hair, but actually seal and keep the moisture inside of our hair strands because if we don't, we're just gonna end up with dry, broken hair and that's not what we want. So signs that you have high porosity hair are hmm, basically your hair can absorb moisture like I said. How many times have I said moisture in this video? Your hair can absorb moisture but it's harder for it to retain that moisture. So basically if I don't moisturize it at least twice a week my hair feels dry, it's brittle, it's very much prone to breakage. Um, retaining length is something that I've struggled with along my natural hair care journey, just retaining length um, because I wasn't moisturizing my hair properly. And one thing I've noticed is that my hair does not take a really long time to dry at all. Um, pretty much when I get out the shower and I put a t-shirt on my head and for a couple minutes and then I take it off, my hair is pretty much like, I would say probably 75% dry. Like styles do not take a really long time to set in my hair. And if you're normal porosity, then you're lucky. You don't have to worry about any of this. You're somewhere in the middle. You have a really nice balance and you wanna maintain that. So to answer your question, do I really need to know what hair porosity is and how does this affect me? So basically, in order to build a hair regimen, you need to know what products work specifically for your hair, your hair type, and your hair porosity. With that being said, with me, because I have high porosity hair, I really have to focus on 
sealing in whatever moisture that I put on my hair, whether it's a deep conditioner. If I'm deep conditioning, I have to rinse out my deep conditioner with cooler water just so I can shut my cuticle and that it retains, so that it's able to retain the moisture for a lot longer. If your hair is, um, if your hair is low porosity, then steam is probably your best friend because steam is going to allow the cuticle to raise up and allow the moisture to penetrate your hair. So it's little things like that that can make or break your hair regimen depending on what your hair needs. So if you're already like trying to know more about porosity, you probably heard about the hair porosity test, the one where you take a strand of your hair, put it in a glass of water and whether it floats or sinks or how long it takes to float, I mean how long it takes to sink or whatever determines your hair porosity. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, I've done it but I really don't know how accurate they are. That's why it's so good to know your hair and know what it needs and go from there. Just know that your hair porosity can change over the years, just keep that in mind. I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you guys have any tips or tricks depending on your hair porosity and what your hair likes, please leave them in the comment section below. I would love to know them and probably people with your similar hair type want to know the same thing. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!